One of the key strengths of ReSharper is how it simplifies the process of actually editing code. So in this screencast, we're going to look at some of the coding assistance that ReSharper provides. The first thing I want to show is code completion. Let's just make a simple class. And then let's suppose I want to implement some interface. What I can do is I can type in the interface shorthand, the camel humps notation. So I can type INPC, for example, and ReSharper goes out and it tells me that there are two interfaces which are matching the signature. And when I press enter to import one of them, not only do I get the completion for the interface name, but I also get a corresponding using statement. And of course I can automatically implement the members. Now the same thing happens when I use a type that hasn't been imported. For example, if I want a list of strings, what I can do is type list. And as soon as I press the angle bracket here, notice what happens. I get a using statement for uh, system collections generic. So let's uh, finish this off with names and notice the completion here. The first item of code completion is actually an initialization statement for this collection. Now this is a fairly straightforward form of completion. So let's take a look at something different. Let's suppose that instead of list, we have an immutable set. So an immutable set of integers. Notice once again, we got an automatic using statement, but when I initialize it, uh, I get far too many items here. So what I can do is I can use smart completion by pressing control alt space. ReShopper effectively limits the set of statements that can appear here to those that actually make sense. So in this case, for example, we might want to initialize the immutable set to an empty set like this. Now, so far we've looked at completion options where the reference to the assembly of the type being imported is actually available. Let's take a look at cases where it isn't. So for example, here I have a simple assembly where none of the references would provide me with a button type, but yet I can type button nonetheless. I don't get any completion option. And this is where another reshopper feature called double completion comes into play. So I can press control space, and what happens is ReShopper goes out and it looks at all the references in the other projects and finds the type button in those references. So now it offers me the option to, for example, start using the button type from presentation framework. If I press enter here, ReShopper is asking whether I want to have a reference. And when I press OK, several things happen at the same time. So first of all, I get a reference to presentation framework. I also get a using statement for system windows controls and of course, I get completion for the button. Another form of completion, which is very useful when you need to create data structures is generative completion. So for example, if I'm making a class called person and I have, let's say a name and an age, I can certainly use the generate menu to create a constructor, but I can also type CTOR. And this essentially lets me create a initializing constructor from the properties that I've defined just like this. And this is something that works in many other languages. So for example, let's try to find a CSS file in our project. So inside CSS, what I can do is I can type with, for example, and here I also have two options, which are essentially generative completion options. So I can specify width as a length or a percentage, for example, if I choose length, what happens is I get a placeholder for the length. And then as I press tab, I actually get a list of valid identifiers for the measurement units that can be used to specify the width. Now, another more sophisticated form of completion is what happens when you have an untyped argument, but the vSharper subsystems know that it's typed. So for example, let's suppose I have a form here. What I can do is I can add a simple button onto the form like so. And when I handle the button, the actual button as the sender is passed as an object. So it's essentially passed as a very general type, even though we know the fact that it's a button. So how would we get, let's say the tag of this button? I would type var tag equals sender dot, but unfortunately this doesn't give me the list that I want. And once again, using ReShopper's double completion mechanic, all I have to do is press control space one more time. And here I have a set of options for what we can do with the button. So if I start typing tag, you will notice that there is an option here to cast to control. So as I complete this, what happens is my sender gets converted to control and then we get the tag. 
Let's talk about some of the other features of Reshaber that make editing code a lot more enjoyable. First of all, we have matching brace highlighting. Essentially, you can move the cursor on the opening brace and you get to see the closing brace highlighted, which is very useful in deeply nested code. And this also works for round braces in a variety of locations as well. In addition to that, it's also possible to reposition arguments to functions or parameters by holding shift control alt and then you get to see the actual block of code highlighted and you can press left and right, for example, to move a particular parameter. And similarly down here, for example, we can move entire statements. So we can hold shift alt control and I can press up and down to move these statements. And I can also press left to take the statement outside the if statement if I wanted to. And once again, I can press right to get it back under the if statement. Finally, I want to show a feature for completing statements. So for example, here I am in a statement where I have to close a few round braces and put a semicolon in. What I can do is I can press Control Shift Enter and this automatically adds all the closing braces, puts in a semicolon and does a line break as well. So these are some of the ways in which Reshopper makes code editing a more productive and enjoyable experience. And to find out more, go to jetbrains.com slash Thanks for watching.